Hello everyone and welcome to another toy review. This is Chansey Chio here and I'm reviewing the last set of Sentinel-1 toys I got from the Toys R Us toy hunt. So here it is, the True Hero Sentinel-1 Steel and Ghost set. So let's take a look at them in the packaging first. All right, three plus, True Hero Sentinel-1, nice metallic sheen. Here they are, they look good in the packaging. Steel and Ghost. Look in the back. There we have warning labels on the back. Steel and Ghost. Pretty simple. Steel looks like he's the leader type and that kind of looks like Steel there, so I'm pretty sh yep. I think Steel is the leader, so I made the right call in saving this one for last. The other information, Toys R Us brand. So, this is a bittersweet video in that I'm reviewing another good set, but yet the last set of Sentinel-1 I'll be doing, unless I get lucky at a thrift store or online shopping. So, let's just get these guys open now. So. Up. And there. That was the cleanest one. So, so that same one. There. I'll pull them out. Oh, this one wasn't glued in like the rest. Put that off. Yeah, pull them all out this time. Since they don't have as many accessories as the rest, this will be pretty easy. Oh, there was a little tape, but just a little. So just put it back in there. Okay. Let's look at steel first. Just like the one from before, the sunglasses could have used some more paint, but it's better painted than the other one who had sunglasses. He has some metals right here. It's a molded in gun picked out in paint. It's a pouch there and the S1 symbol on his shoulder. This pouch is all over. Maybe a comm device there. Pouch under here. He has some stripes, I'm guessing, for his rank. Look back here, he has a plug in. I'm guessing that's the rest of his communication setup. Held in together by screws. Turn around. Yeah, it just goes all the way here. So yeah, I believe that's his communication device. And this pouch is strapped onto his wrist. Sleeves are pulled up. And here's some nice black gloves. A gun pouch with a molded in gun. Paint out in paint. Some pouch molded in there, some more pouches, some... Oh, it doesn't have any knee pads, but some nice boots there, so straps goes along with it. He has a headset there, nice glass ends, three stars. If I knew my military rankings, I'd be able to say what that is. Oh, and he has his name tag there, Steel, so no confusing these. Take a look at the head articulation, it goes like this. Arm articulation like that, it goes like this on both sides. Whoa, whoa, camera almost fell over. Like this. Like, and then like this. That has a very nice articulation. And now for his one accessory, this pistol, handgun, what have you. Focus. 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 There we go. And it says China on the handle there. Like this. There's a sight on the end there. Not very many molded details, but what it does have works. We'll give him his gun. There he is, ready to lay down some justice on whoever he's doing it to. But right now we'll look at Ghost. His head turns. Well, let's do. Let's take a look at him. 
says I peace with three green dots, says one eye with the white dot, has a headset too, this nice mask, see how it all comes together in the back, has some nice body armor and some straps here, the S1 on his shoulder, black gloves here and an arm guard here and some shoulder pads that kind of come apart when you move it. Some more details going down as some pouches, a block there, molded in gun, some knee pads and a knife molded into the bottom of his boot. And he has nice boots. China. More numbers. Wait, does he have? Yeah, it just says China on him. His articulation, it's exactly the same. He isn't hindered. Just like this on both sides. Whoa, almost fell down again. Like this. Both sides, leg goes forward, knee bends, goes back about that far. Now that's that, and then we'll look at his gun. This huge sniper rifle. Pretty good, has an extra part there. It's a very nice gun here. Very nice. Nope, oh, let's give him his gun. See how he holds it because of how it's shaped, you have to put it on like so. Looks like that when he holds it. It's how it's shaped, it can't go on like normal guns. But there, though, he's also seen on the box art holding it like this. Oh, yeah, let me, yeah, from down here, like this. There's that. So, this has been a good set of toys to review. The Sentinel-1 toy. So, this was the Sentinel-1 Steel and Ghost set. So, I really liked these. With G.I. Joe's absence, Sentinel-1 helped me build up that kind of a collection. But, unfortunately, with Toys R Us's closing, Sentinel-1 won't be there unless I find him on the secondary market. But we still have the core elite I can look at at Walmart and such places that have them. So that's something I'll still have. But here's hoping we get E.I. Joe back someday. So thank you all for joining me in today's toy review. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.